We have lots of them. So let's count how many books I have. Let's count. One. All right, five. Okay, we're going to start with the very clumsy click beetle. I like this one. You like this? Okay, let's see what happens. I like it. I hope he's not too clumsy. Yeah. All right, ready? One fine morning, a young click beetle decided to go for a walk. At noon, it climbed up and down a flower. In the afternoon, it rummaged through a pile of pebbles. In the evening, it crawled among the tall blades of grass. And when it turned night, the young click beetle crept the tree. And after a while, it got tired and it fell to the ground and it landed on his back. The young click beetle tried very hard to turn over onto its feet, but it couldn't. Help! it cried. All along, a wise old click beetle had been watching the young click beetle. Tomorrow morning, I will teach you how to click and flip. Flip through the air and land on your feet. In the meantime, you may as well go to sleep. Good night. The next morning, the wise old click beetle said, Look at me. This is how it's done. First, it turned onto its back, and then with a loud click, it flipped through the air and it landed on its feet. Now you try it, said the wise old beetle. Thank you, that looks very easy, replied the young click beetle. Just then, an earthworm stuck his head way up out of the ground. Look at me, said the young click beetle, and with a loud click, can you make a click? Click. It flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How oh, very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a turtle ambled by. Better luck next time, said the turtle. Keep trying. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, you guys, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a snail slithered by. Don't worry, said the snail. You'll get there. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud <laughs> click, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its how very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. But just then, a mouse scurried by. You need a little more practice, said the mouse. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud <laughs> click, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. Just then, oh, what was this? The young click beetle had never seen anything so big. It could not move. It was so scared. Quick, click and flip, quick, click and flip, cried the wise old click beetle who was watching. And the young click beetle clicked and flipped through the air. But this time, it did it in three graceful somersaults and landed on its feet. Look at you, shouted the wise old click beetle. You have done it. And that's the end.
That's the clicking sound. Do you hear it? Did you hear him when he made it finally? If you open it, it makes a noise. Yeah. That's the clicking sound of the click beetle. And the See, with all the practice, he finally did it, didn't he? And the very bright He rubs his wings together to make the sound, right? Yeah, that's the same kind of story. Okay, that's story number one. Do you know how, how many we have left? Four. Four. Okay, so our next story is called, I Won't Eat That. What do you think he won't eat? You think he won't eat a worm? Okay, we're going to see. Looks like you won't eat a lot of things. All right. Dogs eat what? Dog food. And fish eat? Fish food. But I'm a cat, and I will not eat cat food. Uh-oh. Doesn't want cat food. What do you think he wants? Cat food is dry and dull and not very yummy. Yuck. But if I don't eat cat food, what will I eat? Fish. You think fish? Yeah. Well, hello, turtle. I'm hungry and searching for something yummy to eat. What does a turtle eat? Do you know what a turtle eats? Grass. You think grass? Worms, of course. But I must warn you. They are wiggly. Ew! No, thank you. Not eating worms. Hello, fox. I'm hungry, and I'm searching for something yummy to eat. Something that doesn't wiggle. What does a fox eat? Can you guess what does a fox eat? Rabbits, replied fox as he pounced on a furry critter. But I must warn you, they bounce. Whoa! I don't think Cat can catch those bunnies. Hello, chimp. I'm hungry and I'm searching for something yummy to eat. Something that doesn't wiggle and doesn't bounce. What does that chimp eat? What is it? Ants, replied Chimp. We use sticks to get them out of the trees, but I must warn you, the ants bite. Yikes! I'm not going to eat that. Lion, lion, please help. I'm hungry, and I'm searching for something yummy to eat that doesn't wiggle, doesn't bounce, doesn't bite. So what does a lion like to eat? Zebras, roared Lion as he sprang after his stripy prey. But I must warn you, never mind, there's no way I'm eating one of those things. Excuse me, elephant. I'm so very, very hungry, and I'm searching for something yummy to eat that doesn't wiggle. I don't want it to bounce or bite, and that isn't too big. What does an elephant eat? Maybe I can eat that. Lots and lots of grass I eat, but I must warn you, it's a little dry. Ugh, that's even more boring than cat food. Hey, whale, whale, I'm up here, whale. Hello, I'm really hungry and I'm searching for something yummy to eat and I don't want it to wiggle or bounce, or bite, and it isn't too big, or too dry, or too boring. What does a whale eat? Well, my food is perfect, sang whale. It's none of those things, and it certainly isn't boring. In fact, my food glows in the dark. But I must warn you, it's very hard to pronounce. It's called bioluminescent phytoplankton. You want some of that? 
fight a what? What? That food is too weird. Is there anything yummy for me to eat? Hi, cat, squeaked the mouse. I'm hungry and I'm searching for something yummy to eat. What does a cat eat? Hmm, I think I figured it out. But I must warn you. What's he going to eat? A mouse. You guessed it. And that's the end. Maybe, would you like the uh, luminescent phytoplankton? <laughs> it's too tricky to even pronounce, isn't it? Monkeys eat bananas too, but this monkey was eating ants. I don't want to eat ants, do you? Little creatures? Oh. I didn't even know phytoplankton. Okay. Are you ready for story number? 200. Three. three. Story number three coming up. Bark, George. Yep. This is a kind of silly story. I can't, you, nobody can see it yet. It's going to be a surprise. All right, are you ready? George's mother said, Bark, George. And George went, Meow. No, George, said George's mother. Cats go meow. Dogs go off. Now, bark, George. And George went quack, quack. Quack, quack. No, George, said George's mother. Ducks go quack, quack. Dogs go off, off. Now, bark, George. George went oink, oink. <laughs> No, George, said George's mother. Pigs go oink. Dogs go ah. Now, bark, George. George went moo. That George. George's mother took George to the vet. I'll soon get to the bottom of this, said the vet. Please, bark, George. And George went, meow. <laughs> the vet reached deep down inside of George, and he pulled out a cat. <gasps> That's who was meowing. Bark again, George. And George went, quack, quack. And the vet reached deep down, and he pulled out a duck. Bark again, George. And George went, oink. oink. The vet reached down deep down and pulled out a pig. Bark again, George. And George went, moo. And the vet put on his longest glove and he reached deep, 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 deep down inside of George and he pulled out a a cow. He pulled out that big cow and he said, Bark again, George. And George went, Off! George's mother was so thrilled that she kissed the vet and the cat and the duck and the pig and the cow. And on the way home, she wanted to show George off to everybody on the street. So she said, bark, George. And George went, uh, hello. hello. Who's in there now? I think the vet. You think the vet's in there, huh? Yeah. Because now he says hello. Isn't that a silly story? Yeah. I liked it, though. Did you like that one? Yeah. yeah.
Okay, so we read three stories and we have two, two left. These are brand new stories. No one's ever heard them before. And one is called Little Penguin and the Lollipop. What? What? I guess they do. They do. All right, you ready? All set? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I really, really need your help. It's my friend, Kenneth. He's a little upset, and I think I know why. Because he wants a lollipop. Because you see, I ate Kenneth's lollipop. It looked ever so delicious, I couldn't help myself. How was I supposed to know it belonged to somebody else? I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but let me give you some advice. You ate someone's lollipop once? No. no. Never take a lollipop from a seagull. It makes them very grumpy. What? Would you ever take a lollipop from a seagull? No. I don't want a grumpy seagull. I feel terrible about it, so I tried to make it up to Kenneth. I gave him a big, big hug. I told him how delicious his razzle-dazzle seaweed lollipop was. I even wrote him a card saying, I'm sorry. None of it worked. But now you're here. You guys are all here. And I've got one more idea. And you are the perfect kids to help. You're going to help me. Just what do I do? Make a funny face. Can you make funny faces? And repeat after me. Razzle dazzle lollipop. Can Razzle dazzle lollipop. All right, are you ready? Make the face and say razzle dazzle lollipop. Ready? Wait till I say one, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Razzle dazzle lollipop. I don't think I don't think it did anything. Well, it certainly got his attention, but he's not smiling yet. Let's try again, even sillier. Make a funnier face. Wave your flippers and yell even louder. Ready? One, two, three. Razzle dazzle lollipop. See if you did anything. Let's see if it worked. Ugh! Nothing is working. <laughs> Let's try one more. Super, super goofy this time, okay? Can you, you know how to be really, really goofy? Make the funniest face that you can. Wave your flippers in the air. Wiggle all around and really shout. Ready? One, two, three. Razzle, dazzle, lollipop. <gasps> Look. Something. I found one, Kenneth. I found one. A razzle dazzle seaweed lollipop just for you. It looked ever so delicious, and I'm so glad you like it. It was just lying there waiting for me to pick it up. I don't know how it got there, but I'm sure that this lollipop doesn't belong to anyone else. Do you think it belonged to anybody? No. I think it belonged to the whale. Uh-oh. He'll have to make his own magic. Let's try that one more time. Make that face. Shake those flippers and say what? Razzle, razzle, lollipop. Wow. Maybe nothing appeared for me, though. Oh, well. What's the mon oh the monkey guy is still away in Florida. No. He can't hear us. No, he can't. Because he's super Yep. But you guys made a little bit of magic with your faces and your razzle dazzle lollipop. All right, good job. That was brand that was a brand new story. What did you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. I liked it too. 
All right, here's our last story. Another brand new story. No one's ever heard this one either, and it's called A Loud Winter's Nap. I told you, I think we should all take a nap today. No. You don't like naps? I don't. I don't. You don't? All right. Me too. Ready? Ready? Tortoise had just snuggled in for his long winter's nap when... Hello there, Tortoise, chirped Robin. Would you like to join our singing class? No, grumbled Tortoise. I was trying to sleep. Tortoises don't like winter. Why not, chirped Robin. They just don't, said Tortoise. And he picked up and he left in search of a quieter home. These pages today. Tortoise snuggled down in his new bed. He was just about to close his eyes when tap, 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 tap. Hiya, Tortoise. Would you like to make some ice sculptures with me, asked Rabbit. No, groaned Tortoise. I was trying to sleep. Tortoises don't like winter. Why not, asked Rabbit. They just don't. And he pulled up and left again. Tortoise trudged through the snow and found a new napping spot. Again, Tortoise snuggled down in his little bed, and he was just about to close his eyes when... Uh-oh. Who's going to wake him up now? Thud, thud, pat, pat, thud, splat. Hey, Tortoise, would you like to play in a snowball fight? Asked Squirrel. No, no, said Tortoise. I'm trying to sleep. Tortoises don't like winter. Why not, asked Squirrel. They just don't, groaned Tortoise. Why would anyone want to stay awake for winter, grumbled Tortoise. He was tired and cold and needed to find a quieter place to sleep. Tortoise decided to move to higher ground. Again, Tortoise snuggled down in his new bed, and he was just about to close his eyes when duh, 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 swish, bounce. Oh, no, cried Tortoise. Oh, no. Kerplunk. I do not like winter, Tortoise said. Look, he's at a construction site. You see all that? It says construction site. Tortoise hiked up a big snowy hill, and behind a small tree, Tortoise found a flat piece of wood. It was the perfect place for napping. He snuggled down in his new bed and was just about to close his eyes when, look at his new bed, does it look like anything you know? All of a sudden, whoosh, Tur Tortoise was going down the hill. As Tortoise whizzed along, he couldn't help but smiling. Maybe winter isn't so bad all along, he thought. And as he flew off his sled and he th threw the air, he couldn't help giggling. Maybe winter is more than cold and snow, he thought. Whee! And as he slid across the ice, he realized he had been wrong. That night, Tortoise skated, he slid, and he spun with his friends late into the night. He wasn't tired or cold. I think that what? Maybe some tortoises could like winter after all. What do you think? And that's our last story. 
Do you guys have a song you can sing to me before the end of our stories? Have you learned a new one? Oh, okay. Okay, uh, so let's do... What? Cinco de Mayo. You're going to sing that in... Okay. Do you have a song you'd like to sing? What? Zippity doo dah. Who knows that? Everybody who knows it, sing. Ready? One, two, three. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine going my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. I'm the one who knows it. <laughs> I don't even know it that well. All right, you guys, you did a great job today. Do you want to say hi, hi. to Miss Erica? Hi, Miss <laughs> 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 Say goodbye. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye. We'll see you again. <laughs>